On the 26th of May 2016, a Pro League match of Smite was played that went down in the history books for all the wrong reasons. But first, some context. The two teams duking it out in this Week 9 match of the SPL Season 3 were Team Envious and Saw Gaming. Game 1 of this set ended in disaster for Envious, as their solo laner Omega experienced a disconnect during the match, causing them to lose. You might be able to win 4v5s in your 3am casual games, but at the pro level, being down a player is an absolute death sentence with zero chance of winning. The team at the time believed the issue to be on high res end and not an issue with Omega's hardware or internet. It was later confirmed that there were no issues with high res servers and the problem was on Omega's end, but at the time, Team Envious saw this first match as unjust and high res causing them to lose an important Pro League match that could determine placing at future events. Basically, the salt levels were running pretty high on the Envious roster and after finding a substitute for their absentee solo laner in Dust, Game 2 went on as normal, or so everyone thought. Something seemed a little off when the entire Envious roster bought the movement speed boots and nothing else. Combined with three Sunders, one Sprint and one Slowing Curse. Was this some Gigabrain strat to secure the win they thought was rightfully theirs? Well, not exactly. Leaving the base, the oddities continued as Envious' entire roster ran up the duo lane at breakneck pace thanks to their movement speed boots. As casters attempted to justify this obvious trolling by pointing out their relics and god picks that could work for getting a level 1 first blood. In theory, this should work, right? Because you have a a lot of chain lockdown CC, a lot of burst damage with the triple sunders as well, right now, which will amplify the damage. And you have a lot of mobility with all the shoes. In their minds, I'm sure something completely different was being said. What in the holy fatalis are they doing? Hindu Man eventually sees through this facade and calls out this plan for what it is. The ultimate salty run back with some extremely unsportsman like trolling strats mixed in. You're too nice, Tony, because at the moment all I'm seeing is they were salty after game one and the situation there, and now they're trying something crazy for game two. As jungle buffs spawned, Envious made their move, creeping in from the duo lane jungle towards the mid support and ADC of Saw Gaming, who little did they know were about to make Smite history. In a move that would make Loki turn in his grave, Envious were spotted out long before they could make a real move and get a pick for First Blood and Saw backs up to their back happy camp. The slowing curse is instantly countered by the slow immunity from Saw's sprint as Sobek makes his killer entry. Plucking the mid lane squishy that definitely won't have beads ready, I mean who builds beads on squishies, but little did they know, Sol in fact did have beads and the engage is immediately snuffed out. Stealing away Saw's back camps in return for what could have been several of their own camps taken by now, it would seem Envious' Gigabrain invade strategy had fizzled. But like a bull, they see red on Saul's body and health bar and Snoopy makes the first move under tower. The Sunder lands, the dash lands and there's no beads to stop it this time. Is Sol doomed to die for first blood? Will Envy take that lead and snowball to a grand victory? Critically, Mercury dies to the tower and not to Sol's mid lane and so first blood is gifted over to Envious. With a massive lead of 300 gold, could this be the end for Saw Gaming? Well, after three man splitting a midway for some insane farming efficiency, Envious begin to make their way to their own buffs, but after clearing the solo wave, Saw's jungler and solo are two steps ahead of them and secure Envy's blue for themselves, hitting level 3 in the process. With a combined level 2 levels below the enemy team, Envy make their engagement onto Bologna and Thor, two extremely strong early game gods, especially Bologna. Both junglers fall in the fighting and it's just Bologna left in a 1v4 situation. Surely Envious have the upper hand here. Well, if you're a Bologna main worth your salt, you know that her 2 bludgeon massively increases in damage for each god you hit with the initial spin. That slam lands Baskin pretty much an instant triple kill and sends Mercury packing. After one final attempt to take down the raid boss, Snoopy finally falls and a just frame F6 vote comes through after just 1 minute and 35 seconds of the match. Smite custom games can be surrendered at any time, but SPL games cannot. There's a rule that surrender votes can't happen before 10 minutes as if it was a normal match made game, and so what Envious did here broke a core rule of the Smite Pro League. The team was fined $500 per player and had to forfeit any prize money earned from the event. Following this, Omega and Snoopy, arguably the two players carrying the team at the time, would leave the roster, and shortly following that, Envious would drop out of the Smite Pro League, never to return again. A true display of amazing sportsmanship and game ethics from the Envious roster here, an inspiration to us all.